Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the CCC Survival, and it seems like there has been a few things that has been placed outside the base. So let's quickly just see what this is. One or take up a grave or two, and uh, maybe there's prizes. Here lies Belgi, and here lies Belgi. Okay, so if I dig them up, um, is there anything under them, or am I just going to die? Okay, it seems like there's nothing under this. I think this was me uh, trying to patch up a creeper hole or something. Maybe down a bit more. Um, no, I guess there's nothing under this one. Or unless it's extremely low down, which I don't really want to be digging low. Let's also pick up this sand because I think I'm going to need sand to fill all this back in. So let's quickly just do that. And let's get them and then I can put them like so and do that now let's dig under this one unless there's loads of graves like scattered around maybe there's more around the actual uh, world i have no idea so let's just quickly dig up this one and see okay there's a chest with a protection four book that is actually gonna come in handy so let's quickly now just put that there and I don't actually have any more sand on me. So I'm going to break these because they're obviously right in the way. I think this was DJ uh, that done this. Or it was Business Elephant. Uh, flying Donkey. So it was one of them two, I think. I may be wrong. It might have been someone else completely. But now let's quickly just go and get some sand. Because I need to fill in quite a lot of holes that are around the actual HQ. Okay, this actual shader pack I'm using is a shader pack I use in the Ice and Fire SMB. If you haven't checked out that uh, series, do check it out. It's uh, a video or a series that will go live on my channel most Tuesdays and Fridays. But this shader pack actually makes ores glow. And as you can see, the actual copper is glowing. It's best when you're in a cave and it's really, really dark like this. As you can see, the iron is glowing. It's a lot easier to actually see ores. Um, yeah, so this shader pack is really good. It will be linked in the description for anyone who actually wants to download it. As you can see right there, the copper is once again shining. The only ore that don't shine is actually uh, coal. Apart from that, every other ore within Minecraft, uh, at least vanilla Minecraft, actually glows. If you download the mod uh, or the shader with a mod, uh, the modded ores will not glow unless you have it customized to make them glow because it's actually added the glow to the actual thingy so i'm now in lava uh, this can't be good please don't die okay i got out of lava let's quickly just dip ourselves in some water and as you can see right there there is some gold and i just want to show you guys diamonds because diamonds are so easy to notice uh, and I actually want to gather this stuff as tough is not an easy block to come across um, in patches. When you actually find it, it's not that easy to uh, find. Uh, no, when you find it, it's not that easy to find. I mean, when you uh, look for it, it's not that easy to find. So, there we go. Now, let's quickly... I just want to find diamonds or some sort of diamonds to actually show you them glow. Because it's so easy to actually like find diamonds with the uh, shader pack and once again it's just a shader so it's not like it's cheating or anything so you can see uh glow uh, redstone right there that lights up anyway uh but the actual shader makes it illuminate a little bit more but just walking into a cave like this and seeing the ores illuminate it would be cool if minecraft made ores glow by default just like maybe have it an option in here somewhere so video settings, maybe there's an option uh, glowing ores and you can turn it on or off if you want it on or off. Because I think it makes caves feel so much more um, like, it just makes them feel so much better. Just wandering around and seeing it all glow in the corner of your eye or uh, something like that. It just makes the ores feel so much better and it fits into the cave a lot more. So I don't actually think we're going to find diamonds down here. So I don't think I'm going to look anymore because um, I don't know. But if you do want to see like the uh, ores and all that, do download the shaders. It will be linked in the description. And there is a uh, version for 1.17.1, which is also pretty cool. And what the... Oh, well, that's not fun, is it? That is literally just my luck right there. I had a creeper drop on my head. There's someone's grave. My grave? What is my grave doing here? I have a grave here? 
Let me quickly see if there's anything in this uh, grave. I don't actually remember dying here. It's in a cave somewhere. I actually don't know where this cave is. Uh, I think that is my... No, maybe. Maybe not. No, that there, I think. Or no, yeah, maybe it is that. I think that is my glow squid farm. There's anything in this grave. There's a book. Okay. No, this is completely pointless then. It must have been a grave that I died I didn't care about, so I didn't bother coming back for it. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the surface to once again get the sand we needed. Uh, because I do want to make some, um, what's it called? I want to fill in the holes and I want to work on something around the base. Okay, we're now back. I have now got some sand, so let's quickly just fill in all of this. Uh, I did bring some sandstone with me just to put under the sand so the actual uh, sand don't fall down. And actually mixing some sandstone in does also uh, break up the texture of the sand so it does look quite cool. Although I am eventually going to make paths going all the way around this and I just heard a husk. I have no idea where it is. So let's quickly, oh maybe it was the ravenger that I heard. So let's quickly do that. Now, there is one bug with this shader pack, and it seems like someone has broke something here. Uh, I have no idea what they have done, but let's quickly just fill that in. And it seems like that is just going downwards. So let's also break this and try and make this uh, a looking a bit better again. There we go. I think that looks cool. I will obviously fix that when I can. So yeah, there is one bug with this shader pack and it is tinted glass. Tinted glass don't really work well um, unless there's light behind the tinted glass. So just do remember that. Although I'm not playing in the 1.17 version, I'm playing in the 1.16.5. As I have still got them from the Ice and Fire SMB which is in 1.16.5. So okay, this seems like quite a big hole uh, which I do not want to fall down. So uh, we are actually going to head to a mesa biome once I have just filled in these last few things. Because I want to do a test. I want to see how much gold we can get from mining in a mesa. Because obviously gold can now be fortuned uh, within 1.17. So actually uh, mining gold within a mesa I think will be really efficient. Because obviously mesas have um, a lot more gold than any other biome within the game. So, actually going to a mesa to mine, I think we're going to get loads of gold within a short period of time. And I want to know how much we can actually get um, within like 5 minutes or so. Okay, I now need to go to the coordinates in the nether. Uh, also, nether balls seem to be a bit bugged. I don't know if that's intended, but I actually like how they look. Um, I like that they don't give off a really uh, bright purple glow. So, we need to go to the coordinates. Minus 20, uh, 750 I believe. So it is this way, uh, minus 20, so it's literally just 700 blocks this way, and then we should be within a mesa. Now, I don't know what all these portals are for. I'm just going to quickly check them. Uh, let's quickly check what this portal, where this portal goes. I have no idea. Oh my god, look how uh, cool that looks. That is my pigling farm, and that is actually why I want the gold. But the redstone in this shader actually looks really cool lit up. Although it is going to be extremely dark hit here. Uh, and my voice keeps... Uh, I keep having voice breaks, which is not good. But yeah, these... I really like this shader and how well it does it. A lot of shaders are actually bugged within 1.16 and 17. Mainly 1.17. Due to a lot of changes to obviously how Minecraft's code is worked. But this one, uh, literally there's barely anything broke. And I'm not even in the 1.17 version of it. And my calculations were correct. We are now within a Badlands, Mesa, whatever they're called. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are called a Badlands now. So let's quickly head down. There is a mineshaft right here and I think this is probably the best way to actually start. So let's get the torch in our hand and explore and also mine gold when we see it. I think we need to head a bit lower uh, for gold because we need to head to like the stony area. So I'm just going to explore around, I think maybe time lapse it, I'm not too sure. Um, and see how much gold we can get within um, about 10 minutes or so. As I think we're going to get quite a lot, especially with the actual fortune. Do I have fortune? Uh, I do have fortune, so let's use the fortune one. And there's also a mob spawner, 
uh, zombie spawner. We don't actually want this, so let's just uh, break it. And name tag, iron and coal. Uh, coal, the rotten flesh can go in there. And then a name tag and gunpowder bones and coal. Okay, there won't really nothing worth uh, looting in that apart from the saddle. Okay, so I was mining for about five minutes, or I just explored this one cave, as you did see in the time lapse. And I guess this is actually quite efficient, as from this little cave, I did go strip mining for... Did I miss this block? I did go mining for a split second, um, and ended up in a desert, uh, so I just turned back and flew back through the caves. I was only picking up gold and copper. And it was much easier to see the gold because of obviously it glowing uh, with the shaders. But we got almost three stacks of gold within five minutes. Which I would say isn't actually that bad. And there is the world border right there. So I would say actually mining for gold within a mesa is something that you should do. Obviously the best way to get um, was it, uh, gold is through a gold farm. If you have time to make one, 100% uh, do make one because they are the best thing to do. Uh, three diamonds, I definitely won't say no. But yeah, I think coming to a Mesa with, you have to have Fortune 3. Otherwise, I'd have nowhere near this much. Uh, definitely uh, come to a Mesa with Fortune 3 and mine that gold. As it is way uh, efficient, as you can tell. I explored one cave and obviously the results... Uh, do depend on how lucky you are, how much gold you find. So you could find a cave with barely any gold. But I think I was quite lucky with that cave. And we are actually finding quite a lot of good stuff within these chests. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stick around the mine shaft for a bit longer. And explore a bit more because I, I want all this gold. As in I can smell it. Can you chuck this to piglings and will piglings actually um like butter this okay nothing appeared within any of the hoppers but i still don't know unless there's a bug with the actual arm placement when they drop an item it so looked like uh let's quickly head down to this pigling and see if i can do it with this pigling and you had to walk into the hole didn't you oh why did you do that let's quickly do it again i just want to get one pigling to see if we can like uh throw it gold where it's not instantly uh collected by a hopper minecart there we go let's now head down here to you guys and quickly uh let's run and throw a few on the floor if i can click the right button now please 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 give me items otherwise we're gonna have to do a lot of smelting yeah it seems like they're meant to give items but they don't because if you look at their arm it does like a throwing animation unless they do that with anything that's gold so if i really just throw them on the floor you can see that it does like the throwing animation and now they'll do the same animation with that but they will actually throw items out 
Mm, okay, I don't know. It seems a bit weird and buggy. So I don't exactly know if they're meant to throw out items or not. So let's quickly just pick that up. And let's drop... What can we drop? Uh, okay, we can just put that there, I guess. Okay, so it seems like we're going to have to do a lot of smelting. Because, obviously, uh, they won't actually take these. And I think I wasted, like, half a stack of these uh, just testing this. So, it looks like we're going to have to do a lot of smelting to actually make this uh, work. Because, obviously, we need gold ingots. I don't think there's any other ways to do it. Uh, you can't turn these into blocks and smelt. Or you can't turn these into blocks and smelt them from a block to a block. Uh, that isn't a recipe in the game, I don't think. So, I think we're now just going to have to, I guess, farm the, uh, or sit AFK at a furnace. Because uh, all this, uh, I can't speak. To make these smell, it's not going to be a quick process. So, I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. So, that is actually where I'm going to end this episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I think what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours is sitting at a furnace, uh, AFKing, smelting all this gold uh, to actually put it within the uh, pigling farm. So then we can farm a few things over there. So I haven't actually been on the realm uh, to do any more pro progress anywhere. We have bought some more gold to obviously make uh, to finish this. But yeah, as you can see, tinted glass isn't bugged if there's light behind it. But if there's no light and it's completely dark, uh, it does uh, appear extremely dark behind the tinted glass. I can actually show you an example of that down at our string farm. So if I quickly just head uh, down here, I can show you what I mean by it being extremely dark. As you can see, uh, you cannot see in there at all unless you get really close. Then you can kind of see uh, in the YouTube video. You probably won't be able to see at all. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I will see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.